So what's up guys? Uh, so today we get started on the rope cage. So we came here to pick up uh, some tubing for the roll cage and some other sheet metal. Um, some of the bracketry. Just throw it in the back? Yeah, just throw it in the back. Coming here to industrial metal supply. For. Uh, those are for the door brackets. some of it uh, so battery died on the camera didn't notice because I had it on uh, time-lapse uh, but uh, so because the battery died I wasn't able to capture my failures <laughs> right, so first failure here as you can see we have a cattywampus deal going but that occurred because my block so I needed to be have it facing up. I installed it facing down. So I put my bend offsets uh, way off. Second time around, I was like, oh, I figured it out. So, uh, but this one came out short. All set in place. Uh, mounting blocks are set, made in set. So there you go. They're made out of 3 sixteenths cold rolled steel. I have the tube. Here's a better view. I think. Box number one, box number two. Up and around. It hugs everything real nicely. The bends are exactly where I want them to be. And back down and down. All in one continuous fluid motion. It's uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So Next is a harness bar, so it's going to go from here to there, probably bend a 45 degree bend, have it shoot out, come over and shoot back in. I'm going to add some depth to the cage. Here I marked where I need to cut it, right there, and right there. So now I'm going to use the tube notcher right here to make my copings.
So here we have the cage uh, with the harness bar going across and two triangulating bars going down the center. Oop. So main hoop is just about done. That needs to be fully welded in, but that's uh, that's it. So next would be the tie bars that go to the strut tower, the bar that goes up there to that corner, down into the corner and vice versa for this end. Uh, I do need to finalize these guys in for the heim joints, so we're going to have heim joints here and here and here. I have one of them already there, it's kind of making sure it all fit, right, same thing right there. So it's all heim jointed here, so it's all removable. On the actual cage itself, it's going to have uh, these tubing couplers that I uh, purchased from Rough Stuff Specialties. Uh, it makes it so that the cage is solid, but at the same time is also removable via two uh, Allen heads. So I, think, I believe they're both uh, 3 8 by 16 Allen heads. So what I'm gonna get started now is uh, I'm gonna take these time joints. It's a 5 8 hole, so I need to do a lot. The 5 8 holes that need to go here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna address that right now. Then 316 is played onto uh, sheet metal. So next is uh, do this bar down to here. Same thing with that end, right there to there, and then from there, all the way up there, and vice versa on that end. All right, so we're calling it quits for today. Uh, join us on the next one where we pick up and we finish up the rear half of the cage. Um, so it's always thank you for watching and if you haven't hit that subscribe button hit it uh, Hit that notification bell if you want to keep uh, joining us on this uh, fabrication voyage um, but as always thank you and See you on the next one